Hello everyone and welcome back to Hacksert. In this video, we will be taking a short look at TCP and UDP. These are the two types of transmission protocols and these two protocols are basically used for used by devices to communicate with each other. So let's start off the discussion with TCP. TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and it is a protocol used for communicating between devices and it is a reliable and it guarantees the transfer like for example you have http http is a form of transmission control protocol now let's have a look at how it functions so here we have a tcp working uh, pictorial demonstration let's say you are operating this computer pc1 and let's say your friend is operating this computer pc2 and this U2 might be in the same LAN network or U2 can be anywhere within the world, it doesn't matter. Both of your computers must be connected to the internet anyhow or the other. Now let's say you want to send a file to this computer any, uh, by uh, any sort of means, via FTP or anything. You want to send a file from your PC to your friend's PC. Now what will, what will happen is that your PC will not send just, it will not send the file like this only i mean it will not just throw the file and send it to the pc at the other end what will happen is that it will first establish a connection between the two and this happens by using the synchronization acknowledgement packet manner what happens is that your pc will first send a synchronization packet it is denoted as syn it will send a synchronization packet with a with a certain number in it it can be any number let's say 33 or 40 anything and once that synchronization packet is received by the pc at the other end it will send back an acknowledgement packet and it will increment that number by one let's say in the in case of the synchronization packet the number was 11 in case of acknowledgement packet the number will change to 12 and once this acknowledgement packet is received by your pc your pc will send back a synchronization acknowledgement packet and it will again increment this number by one which is in this case it will become 13. This is similar to like chatting for example like for example you are chatting with someone at the other end via Facebook or WhatsApp or anything. Let's say you send you first sent a hi and the friend at the other end said hello and you said hey how are you. So this is something like that. Uh, first, it, your PC will send a synchronization packet and once the synchronization packet is received by the PC at the other end, it will send back an acknowledgement packet by incrementing that synchronization packet number by 1. And once this acknowledgement packet is received by your PC, your PC will send back an synchronization acknowledgement packet back to that PC 2 and thereby the connection will be established. And once this connection is established, your PC will send the file to your friend's PC or the PC at the other end. Now let's dis discuss about UDP. UDP stands for User Datagram Protocol. It is a protocol which is extremely needed or it is used when there is requirement for speed. UDP is used where speed is needed. Like for example, let's say, like for example you are watching this video on YouTube and uh, you see that buffering taking, taking place of the video. What happens in case of buffering is that the video is actually downloaded to your browser, not to the downloads folder. It is downloaded to your browser in the form of browser cache and the video is simply being, it is being simply played in the background, I mean in the browser. Now, that buffering which takes place is actually downloads that video into your computer and the video is being played by analyzing that data. Now what happens is that if let's say TCP was used in case of video streaming or let's say if TCP was used, was used in case of uh, YouTube video streaming then what would have happened is that for each and every packet that would have been transferred from YouTube's server to your computer each and every packet required a synchronization acknowledgement and this kind of a verification. Now, if this would have been done, then the speed would have been very low. The speed would have gone down and video streaming would have would not have been possible at all. So to come across this problem or to solve this issue, 
UDP is being used when it comes to video streaming. In fact, if you do voice call or say video call, that over there as well, UDP is being used. It is an unreliable protocol for communication and it does not guarantee transfer. Like in case of TCP, as I told you, synchronization, acknowledgement, synchronization, acknowledgement. And once this is done, the connection is established. But in case of UDP, nothing such happens. It's like, you know, throw, taking a stone and throwing it inside the dark. Throwing a stone in the dark. I'm not talking about the idiom exactly, but I'm talking about if you take a stone and just throw it in the dark. Or let's say you took a stone and threw it uh, towards someone, someone's house. It broke the window and went inside. Now, it doesn't matter to you whether or not someone will come out and open the window and scold you or someone will not come out. You just, your main motive was to send that um, stone inside the house, somehow or the other. It doesn't matter whether someone will respond or it, someone will not respond. So here you have a basic pictorial demonstration of how UDP works. Now, it is a very simple thing to, and it does not have any sort of synchronization, acknowledgement, all those rubbish things. No verification needed. If your PC, let's say this one, is wanting to send a file or something to this PC, it will simply send the file. And you won't get any message or you won't get any confirmation whether or not that file has reached the PC at the other end. If it has reached, it has reached. If it has not reached, it hasn't reached. You won't get any information or any sort of, you know, I can say confirmation that yes, the file has been received at the other end. So that's about TCP and UDP and as I am telling in each and every video that this is a new channel and if you found value from this video then please like the video, share the video with your friends who you think might gain some knowledge by watching this video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe and please help me grow because if you don't subscribe to my channel then I won't get that confidence, I'll keep on thinking that it's simply a waste of time making videos for you guys. If you're learning something, if you got to know something, please subscribe to my channel, share the video, like the video, you can also dislike the video if you didn't like it or if you didn't gain any sort of new knowledge from it, then you can dislike the video if you want. So this is Dhruvajuti signing off and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.